when Raila Amolo Odinga yesterday uh, made a comment that insinuated that he wanted dialogue between the protesters or the young people and the government, uh, he received a lot of backlash from people who even refer to him as a traitor or a person who does not really have the interest of the people at heart. And that has been uh, the order of the day. And I think Raila Molo Odinga has received the information and uh, he had to react to try and really quell down uh, the attacks uh, that were coming from the people. And uh, today uh, he made this comment on his social media account where he said, uh, Nimeambiwa na hawa viongozi kwamba mmesema hamtaki handshake. Ujumbe umefika. So that is to mean uh, that he has listened or he has got, got uh, been privileged to get the information from people uh, that indeed people do not really want uh, I don't know why he's saying handshake but they do not want dialogue. Okay, so I want us to clearly see and understand how this means and uh, see what it, how it will impact the dialogue that has been called to uh, starting next Monday between the president and common Mananchi. So if you are new to our channel, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that we can continue. Uh, with this kind of conversation. Remember the Sokrat TV, we explore, discuss, and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Now, as I told you earlier, Raila Amolo Odinga is one of uh, leaders who are looked at as not only uh, patriots, but they have also been one uh, part and parcel of the political class for a very long time in the sense that sometimes there have been people within uh, outside the political class or even within the political class who have been requesting that leaders or people like Kraila Molodinga should now really uh, throw the towel or retire from politics and give chance to the younger people also uh, to lead. Although such people have at uh, most, most of the time they have been turned out and told to stop that and to give uh, Raila Molo Odinga the opportunity even to become the president. Remember, he has consented to become the president of the Republic of Kenya for five times, but he has never been able to take or to clinch that position despite him winning out rightly in the year 2007, then being uh, power, power was taken uh, from him uh, from uh, by Kibaki Mwai at that particular time. So, you can see that Trailer Molo Odinga is a very key person and it is among the reasons that made Ruto to bring him on the table to try and quam or cool down the situation. But it did not work. It did not work simply because these Gen Z's have no any preferred political uh, figure or any political party they prefer. What they prefer or what they want is just good governance and adherence to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. So any leader or any public figure who can present himself or herself to really abide with the constitution of the Republic of Kenya and show good governance, the Gen Z's subscribe to that person. So they are more of ideology or idea base, but uh, not really uh, the specific idea of a specific political party, but the idea of good leadership and really constitutionalism following uh, the constitution. And that is why Raila Molo Dinga found it very difficult uh, really to calm, uh, to calm them down after even being used. And uh, as much as he, there could have been some things that were achieved by that statement that he made, of course, we have people who are very passionate or people who support Raila Amolo Odinga so much, they may really, really listen to him uh, to uh, not continue with the protest. But what will take them back uh, from their relaxing points or their, uh, their, their calming points after being calmed by Raila Amolo Odinga is the ills, uh, the problems, and poor governance that we are currently facing in the Republic of Kenya. 
and it should be understood by these political parties that times are gone when people worshipped a given political leader or a given political lead, uh, party as good. People are interested in their own personal interests. And if a, part, a person does not really uh, uh, do what they, their interests want, then they will work out. And uh, it is one of the reasons why the Gen Z's have also been advised even to, maybe to come up with, with a political party just uh, which can really meet what uh, they are wanting. And it's, oh, there are a number of few peoples who have been really pointed out or the people who have come into the picture as leaders of the Gen Z and among them is the Busia Senator Kiom Tata who to some large extent appears like uh, a person who uh, is uh, like-minded to the Gen Z considering that he has no any scandal first of all and he has been very consistent in fighting for the rights of the people uh, the other thing is that he also does not <coughs> subscribe <laughs> he does not subs he also does not subscribe to any political party so he is an independent candidate and that is how he was able uh, to become uh, the the senator of busia county so you can see uh, the the idea behind this gen z protest and it Laila Amolo Odinga, as much as he has come out to express uh, his concern or to show that indeed he has listened to the ground and he has been given the information and he has, he has been briefed that people are not interested in anything to do with the dialogue or to do with handshake with Ruto, he also needs to be aware that these people are also not interested in him talking on behalf of them because he in his post or how he says it is as if he is the one who is representing this gen z's or the one he's talking on behalf of them the gen z's are very clear they do not have any pol preferred political party so it, it is even difficult to understand why he's bringing himself in between because uh, to be honest he's not needed in that discussion that discussion uh, is also likely to make him uh, really a victim of the anger that is coming from the common mananchi. This is not to mean that he is not a good person or a good man, but uh, you know, even uh, uh, in Kiswahili we say that mutego apanya ushika wale waliyomo na So uh, sometimes we have people who suffer consequences that uh, they are not supposed to suffer or people who suffer for problems they did not create so he may be among uh, those people and uh, i think it is good he came out and he has said so so he should continue with that and keep just just maintaining silence and maybe focus on becoming the chairperson of african uh, union because time are gone when we woke up a given political figure is worshipped as a personality or taken like he or she is a god at the current uh, moment the republic of kenya wants people who bring ideas and if you have an idea and you are from Turkana, you have an idea you're from kakamega or any other part of the country we have to, we can subscribe your idea you don't have really to have a political party to uh, sub subscribe to your idea and if we have if we have to have a political party then let it have the interest of the people ahead of its own objectives of that uh, political party and the current goal of the Gen Z's and even the Kenya as a whole and I think even Africa is to liberate itself economically we were able to liberate ourselves politically but economically we are still dependent in other nations and despite the fact that we have a lot of resources and potential in Africa, we are yet really to exploit our full potential. And this has really uh, made us not to be respected even by other nations. And I think uh, Raila Amolo Odinga is a Pan-African and he understands that. That is why there, uh, I'm uh, emphasizing that if he focuses on becoming the African Union chairperson, then he can also be part and parcel of 
the bigger goal of liberating Africa. So he leaves this younger generation the role of liberating their country. Then he he uh, uses his influence from AU to liberate the whole country, the whole continent, including even Kenya. So I don't know what you think about uh, that. Please feel free to share a comment at the comment box. Remember, the Socrata TV, we emphasize that you need to stay curious, stay critical, and stay thoughtful. Until we meet again, bye-bye.